I need to make an amplifier. Uh, I've done streams about it already and so on, but uh, today I'm just going to make a library. I'm going to be pretty quick about it, hopefully, as well. This is the potentiometer I need to add to the system. And I bought these from Amazon or AliExpress or somewhere. It's got five pins on it and I measured it to be about 16 millimeter. Now, as I mentioned on my stream, the guys in China, you know, these factories, they never really make anything themselves from new, like new dimensions or anything. They typically do knockoffs or clones of uh, Alps, knobs and switches and so on. So given that this was, you know, I think it was like 15.9 millimeters when I measured it, it's pretty much 16 millimeters. So I went on to Ali, Alibaba and looked for these so I could find some kind of data sheet. And I find, uh, you can see here, these um, uh, these knobs, a B103, this is a B103 as well, which makes it a 10K uh, pot. Uh, let's scroll down a little here. So you can see here, there's, there's diagrams here, they sell a mono, which is three pins, and a stereo, which is five pins. And I thought, oh, this is great. I'll start off with the stereo now. And so uh, I've actually, I'm a little bit ahead of you all. Um, this is part of my library I've created. Uh, I've measured these pins, um, but this will be one, two, three, four, five. And uh, in my description here, and this is something people don't often do, I've actually uh, linked to the uh, JPEG that was on the AliExpress page, just so I could see later if I was, you know, even in the right headspace. I do that by, if I open the description here, this is the description section. It's all classic HTML. This is stuff that we've done for years. So I've uh, added a link to the uh, uh, Alibaba. I should need to update that. Hold on. And I've added an image uh, a tag here with a picture. And I could probably shrink that down if I wanted to add other tags and stuff. Now, what's really thrown me for a bit of a doozy here, there are different pin outs for these connectors. And so, you know, I have a dual unit, but as you can see here, very different pins here. And I don't quite know what these mean, um, but you can see here that on this low version, LO, the middle pin is, uh, is, is, is the common. And on this HO version, pin number one, is the uh, that would be when it's down and this one would be the common so i did a little bit of experimenting uh, i got my out my trusty multimeter and i measured is it looks like when i measured it out and it's knowing that you know the full range of each pot is 10k and if you turn the pot about halfway you can know very quickly if something is 10k you're going between common or ground and and you know the top of one of them if it's 20k you're going across the two tops uh, you know, going, so if it's if you're measuring 10k, you're going between three and one. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, if you're getting 20, you're measuring between both uh, pots and so on. And so I actually came to the conclusion that what I'm actually dealing with is this Ho version. So what we've got so far in our library, let's open this up. Is we've got um, uh, let's have a look here. This is T place. Now I keep a list of T place is going to be our um, silk screen. So I actually don't really want to um, put this circle on the silk screen itself. So one of the things I realized uh, about this is that the um, my circle here is actually, if it's on um, the, uh, it, depending on what layer it's on, if it's on T place, it's actually gonna draw a silk screen on, on it. And I don't really want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is actually put this onto T docu, which will, uh, essentially, um, I'll see this in the schematic layout and so on, but I won't see it on the silk screen itself. And the other thing we'll do then, let's see if I can, see if I can do this. Is maybe let's go up to eight millimeters at zero. So that's what's going to be on the silk screen right now. As soon as I add two docky, this is what I'm going to see in Eagle. And this is close enough. I mean, these don't have to be, uh, you know, terribly exact. I mean, it's uh, very very small on the PCB itself. And I'm going to add uh, value. There we go. So on the sill screen now, I should get a name and value. That's going to turn up quite nice, I think. And we'll add a little rectangular box here, which again is mainly for the PCB layout, just to kind of as a keep out to stop me from putting other devices down there and so on as well. All right. We will. So this is this is more, you know showing what it's going to look like in 
in the actual design. So uh, let's. All right. The only thing I need to do is draw like a really terrible triangle, which I'm actually an expert at doing. Now, one of the small things you really got to understand about Eagle is you never mess with the default grid. In fact, they've added it now. Strongly recommended to use the default grid in schematics because otherwise you end up with things which don't connect and that's really bad. So let's, uh, I'm, what I'm doing here is changing the resolution that it'll snap to. That's not quite what I had in mind, but um, it'll do, it'll do. Uh, I've got five pins here. Copy the address of this image and pray that this image doesn't go too far. Um, we'll grab the library, add the description, uh, IMG SRC equals, and uh, we'll control paste into that. Let's rename these pins. So this is common. And then uh, we would call this top of one, uh, top one. And we'll call this top two. And then we'll call this tap two, because it taps off it. Uh, tap one, sorry. Ah, almost made a mistake there. And tap two. Symbols done, package is done. Now let's pin one is the common. Pin one's the common. Yeah, pin one is the common. I've got the HO version. And I'm gonna add my holo. There we go. We're gonna start plugging these in. So the common is pin one. The top one is pin four. Tap one is pin three, and tap one is pin four. See, I should have named these properly, look at that. Four, and then tap one is three. Top two is five and two. So let's have a look at, uh, let's list these here, and I'm looking at my little look at notes here. So one is common, two is a tap, three is a tap, top, top, done, okay. Um, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll take this library and we'll put it back into our schematic to see if uh, it's actually usable. All right.